Can I try it? Yeah, you can try it. Are you ready for your my costume eyeball. fitting? Yeah, my eyeballs are gonna melt. I'm fat. So, uh, are you getting excited for tonight to see yes. your costume? Yes. Yeah, because you don't know what they look like yet, do you? Well, I know what the corn one looks like. Yeah, you have an idea of some of them, but not the Emerald Guard, huh? Yeah. Hi, T. Hello. Did you have a good lunch? Yes. Yeah, that was pretty good. Those cookies we bought were really, really good. You never could tell that yeah, they were sugar-free. Yeah, I thought they were free. vanilla. I know, they're so great. I made them, of course. <laughs> okay, you guys, so one of the things on my time blocking sheet today is to make some laundry detergent. So mm -hmm. I use regular detergent in combination with homemade laundry detergent. And I need a better grater. This is what I've been using right now. And it works, but it's, I think it's a lot harder than if I had like one of the uh, square ones or like cube ones. That's what I'd really like to get. But right now this is what I have and it works. So I usually do the hardest part first and that is to do the bars. These smell so good. Um, to do the bar soap. So I use two different kinds of soap. I use the pink zoat. Um, I use two kinds of soap. I use the pink zoat, and then I use the Fels naphtha. I use a half a bar of each. And then I use super washing baking soda, borax, and then I use regular baking soda. And I just use two cups of each of those. And literally, it's so simple to make this. And I do one heaping tea table or heaping tablespoon for a load. And then I fill my regular laundry detergent. So I use Persil and I fill that to the first line. And then I'll add my things like OxyClean and Color Safe Bleach or regular bleach to my loads. Um, but I don't mix that in with any of this. Anyway, so yeah, I just use a half a bar and I grate it up and it's super easy. So that's how I make my homemade laundry detergent. One thing about this though, and I know it's why I didn't use uh, homemade laundry detergent for a long time after I had first tried to make it. One thing about it is, is it's better if you kind of like pre-melt the powdered stuff. So what I usually do, hi bud. Can I your computer? Sure. Hi guys, <laughs> can I try? Yeah, you can try it. Uh, this way. Right into the thing. It's kind of fun, huh? Yeah. Ew, that would taste so bad. Delicious. <laughs> you want a bite? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, here you go. <laughs> All right, you go get my... on a daily basis. Good job. All right, go get my... Computer. Where's your adapter? Uh, it should be in the window, <laughs> otherwise I don't know. Anyway, one of the things that I make sure that I do uh, when I do my laundry is I'll take the top of like my Persil cup and I'll fill that up with hot water unless I'm doing whites or lights because I wash them in warm or hot. But if I'm doing a cold water wash, I'll take and fill my laundry soap lid up to the top with hot water and then I'll put my tablespoon of this mixture in and just kind of mix it around. I stir it around with a straw and pre-dissolve the powders that are in here and then put that in almost like a liquid laundry detergent. I know some people make this in a liquid, but I really like the powder. But yeah, that's one thing I would suggest if you're going to use this recipe is to pre-dissolve it in cold water washes with just a little bit of hot water. And you don't need to dissolve the bar soap stuff that because that won't dissolve right away. You don't need to pre-dissolve that. That will dissolve in your laundry when you wash it. It's just the powder tends to not want to dissolve in the uh, cold water. So anyway, I'm going to finish making some laundry detergent. Got about, it should look like that. Now I did try to use like a food processor to grate this up. That was a disaster and I don't suggest it. Really hand grating is the way to go with this thing. So, all right, I'm gonna make this and I'll show you guys when it's all done. That was Matt calling about what we're gonna have for dinner this weekend. Smoked mahi-mahi, yum. 
Okay, anyway, so I'm done with my two soaps. So now I'm just gonna add my dry ingredients. I start with my baking soda. I get this big thing of baking soda at Walmart because it's cheaper to buy this than the Arm & Hammer and it works exactly the same. But it's two cups of this. Like I said, I did a half a bar of Zote and half a bar of Fells Naphtha. I know they have the white Zote and it's pretty much the same. I think, oh, I can taste <laughs> the baking soda. Okay, and then I'm gonna put in the super washing baking soda. Mm, that's not quite a cup. Two cups of that. And this you get right over in the laundry aisle. Along with the, now I know sometimes the Fells naphtha has been hard to find around here anyway, so when I see it, I'll grab like, I'll stock up and grab like six bars at a time. So that way I have it. And I do the same thing with the Zoat, so I don't have to buy it as often. And I can just make my stuff. I always like to have a backup box of the baking sodas and the borax. So I do the same thing here, two cups of borax. I like to keep a back stock so that way when I'm going to make my laundry detergent, I always have the supplies handy. I don't have to wait and worry that I'm out of something. Okay, and it's really that simple. Like, other than the grating, it doesn't take much to make it. And this will make your laundry detergent go so much farther and your clothes come so clean. Like the, the whitening and brightening power of this dry detergent is phenomenal. So yeah, I just mix it really good so that when I go to take a scoop, and when I say a scoop, I usually do like a big heaping scoop like that. But when I go to take a scoop, um, there's a little bit of everything. And I usually pre-mix it before, or I usually mix it before I take out a scoopful. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. I wish you could smell this. If you've never made it before, it just smells so clean and so fresh. It's just, it's such a nice light scent. And I have um, a child with, well, she's not a child, but one of the kids has super sensitive skin and she can use this. So if she can use this, I think pretty much anybody could probably use this because she is so sensitive to soaps. Um, and she has not had a problem with this. Anyway, I just leave that like there. And then you can see, I told you I mix it. Um, and I just use the top of the container to set this on when it's wet so I don't put it back inside. But when I'm not, when it's not wet, I just throw it in there and then I can mix up and uh, melt it. So yeah. So Ireland's already, <laughs> already getting ready for tonight. Holy cow, this day has just gone by. It's crazy. Look, you'd never know I did dishes. The sink is already full of dishes. <laughs> I think I'll be doing multiple loads today. What do you think, Bree? Probably. And I still don't think I'm gonna get them all knocked out. <laughs> How do you like your little water bottle? It's cute. It is cute. I picked that color because I thought you'd like it. Okay, so one of the things I had on my to-do list today was to clean out my car. It's not too, too bad, but there's a few things in here. So I generally try to keep it pretty cleaned out, but I can see that <laughs> some things have been left behind since our last kind of long day trip that we took in here. So, all right, I'm gonna get this done. And then it should be about time to take Ireland to her event and Braxton to work. So it's been a busy day. <laughs> Look guys, we're getting ready for graduation, see? We've got congrats grad, and the best is yet to come. I don't know if you can really see it from out here. I'll show you from inside. Looks really cool. Let me see. 
If you can't tell, Braxton picked purple and silver to be his colors. Isn't that cool? Let's see this fancy hairstyle you had to learn how to do. Look at that, you guys. That's a lot of bobby pins. And a lot of hairspray. <laughs> a lot of time and effort, too. Yeah. This one went faster than usual, though. So. Probably because you're getting used to it. And if you didn't know, Ireland has to, all of the ballet dancers have to wear two leotards for these things, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Cam our camisole and then leotard. Yeah, because... The camisole is more like a, like an undergarment for under yeah. the costume, so. It's kind of like ballet underwear. There yeah, you go. Pretty much. <laughs> Except it's a leotard. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Miss Ballerina. That's so bright. Are you ready for your my costume eyeballs. fitting? Yeah, my eyeballs are going to melt though from the sun. It's too bright for this. Look at you guys. See the building up there? That's where she's going this to. This building's so fancy. <laughs> Your outfit. I loved the dress. It, I actually, I felt like corn. <laughs> uh, and I'm just thinking, my hair's gonna stand out so much with this oh. green and, and yellow dress. Dad showed you, Dad showed us the picture, and both me and our Zane said you looked like Tinkerbell. Uh, you did. I said, I'm like, I feel like Tinkerbell. <laughs> yeah, you did kind of remind me of Tinkerbell. Yeah, but like, and we we didn't get a picture of it, but we have like huge corn hats that go Zane like this. Zane wanted to know why you were so bald headed. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like Bingus without my hat. <laughs> yeah, but like it was this giant headpiece and then the emerald guard hats were that big. I can't wait to see you in them. I'm so <laughs> I, excited I, for this. I wasn't this. a fan of the hats <laughs> that, because they just looked a little funky on my head and mine was a little too small for my head. But but the, we had long capes and we were all like, I'm fabulous. 